Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to talk about changes in the aurora borealis as seen from space and a couple other general space changes. Okay, this one is a brand new one. I've been seeing a lot lately, just the last few weeks, about the aurora borealis or the aurora australis as seen from space. Now, I never recall ever seeing any of the auroras from space. It was never in any of the other footage. And considering then the auroras have been uh, getting stronger and stronger, brighter and brighter in the last couple of years, I think I should have seen that. But uh, here is uh, an example, stunning aurora borealis from space in ultra high definition. So the storyline here is, this is uh, time lapses shot from the International Space Station showing both aurora borealis and aurora australis phenomena that occur, blah, blah, blah. Okay. In my original time then, there was no aurora australis. It was the northern lights, and they happened in the north. So uh, aurora australis is new for me, but it's an older Emmy, about four or five years ago, maybe. Okay, so let's check this out. It's really beautiful. You know, about two years ago, I saw a commercial on TV that showed this crazy aurora thing as a fantasy and I had kind of wondered then, I had just, just learned about the ME, and I was starting to wonder if maybe we would get that. And now, uh, for real, I mean, that we would get it instead of just being a commercial. And we really are now. I mean, the aurora now is just crazy bright. It's just constantly changing. But the weird thing is, you know, I've never seen any of these images before until just recently of this aurora over the earth like this, with this green halos and I mean it totally looks like CGI to me there's a lot of weird anomalies in a lot of this video that uh, supposedly comes from NASA so I don't really know what's going on but I mean either it's fakery or it's an ME I, I don't know which but I mean if they were trying to fake it then they should try to keep it the same as possible so it doesn't really make sense to me that they would suddenly introduce a bunch of Aurora footage if they had been trying to fake it the whole time Anyway, just, just beautiful footage. Look at that. Now, there's there's been a fair number of changes in the auroras besides the fact that it's on the Australian side now. Another one that has come out recently. You can see some of the images. Supposedly, this one here is fake, but the rest of these should be real. There's a lot of them. And really, it just it just looks weird when they show it. Well, one thing we haven't seen much of is the aurora from a little bit of a pullback position, a little bit more of a distance. Uh, I think we'll start seeing that soon. But um, this this Emmy is still in progress, so you don't see all the images right away. But uh, here's here's another one. Uh, about mm, is it six eight months ago or something? I read an article. They new kind of aurora spotted, and they named it Steve. And this is the new aurora here. And uh, the images that you see for this aurora change. Originally, it was just like one bar in the sky. But now it looks like the bar goes all the way across the sky. Um, so this is Steve, the new kind of aurora. And uh, just overall, the auroras have a lot more beautiful colors now. They, they, f they spread a lot further from the poles than they ever used to. Uh, they're just, there's just so many changes. But beyond that, there's been a lot of changes in the space race kind of a thing, and I just wanted to go over a couple of them. One was I don't remember any colored footage from the moon landings. This changed maybe a year ago where you started seeing the flag in color. Uh, there's um, this one, the Apollo 11 moon lander. Uh, that totally looks different. When I first saw this, the first thing I noticed was that there was some gold tin foil on it. Uh, since then, most of that tinfoil has changed to be more like a coppery color. We got all this black stuff. This whole top of the module um, looks totally weird to me. I mean, it was just one unit before. This doesn't even look like you could put a man in it. I mean, it doesn't hardly look like it would hold a cat. Um, so, I mean, the whole thing, it just, somebody said once when they saw this, I mean, other people have mentioned this to me, but somebody said that they don't think we went to the moon in a tinfoil lander. And that, I think, pretty much sums it up for me. This thing is ridiculous. Now, since I've, I've been looking at this image for the last months or so, and, and this strap here looks new to me, too. I don't recall that. 
Uh, there's a lot more black and stuff. I mean, I swear it just looks like black paper on here. Just weird. Anyways, um, I also don't remember this bit right here last time I looked. Um, just strange. But there, there's been so many changes. Another one, a big change for me is the Mars polar ice caps. My old Mars did not have any ice caps. And for a while, I guess these ice caps were carbon dioxide, but now they're mostly water. The last few weeks or few months, we've, they've been saying that there are water clouds, water ice clouds, and it even shows it here on Mars. Um, I mean, my old Mars was dry as a bone, and one of the main obstacles about us colonizing was that where would we find the water from? Well, now they've got water all over, including the poles. Um, another thing I've noticed is that the coloration of Mars seems to be getting less red. I mean, here it's almost tan. And uh, if you look at other images, the ones that show the polar ice caps are a lot less red. And like a few months ago, I was looking and they were saying, well, Mars isn't really red. It's just that there was dust in the, in the atmosphere that puts a red light onto the rest of the planet and makes things look red. And then today when I was looking, they're, they're saying that the dirt is red on the ground too. But last time they weren't saying that. So the whole red thing is kind of getting a little slippery here. If you look at all the images of Mars, though, most of them still don't show the polar ice caps. Now, what's weird about this is some people have been saying, oh, well, maybe they just didn't know about it. But that that's impossible. I mean, you can see the polar caps with just a big telescope, an amateur telescope from Earth. So there's no way that people didn't know about them. But yet you see all these images, very few of them actually depict the ice caps. The ones that do depict the ice caps, that this planet looks tan. I mean, look at this one. It's tan. So uh, I think that the red might be getting phased out. Maybe they'll just say, oh, it, it looks red from, from Earth for some such or another reason. So uh, interesting. But anyway, a lot more water on the planet. Sizes have changed. Uh, in my old timeline, Mars was the closest size to Earth. But uh, last I checked, it's now Venus that is close to Earth. Also, about this time one year ago... Um, we would see a very bright star in the sky even before sunset, and that star was Venus. And they said, oh, Venus is really bright once a year at this time. Well, now Venus is not bright, and the whole storyline has changed on that. I don't know if, how many of you remember going. a lot of people saying, what's that bright star right before sunset? Well, in case you didn't notice, we're not seeing it this year. Anyway, so, so many things. I'm going to close out here with a little more video of this beautiful aurora. I'm hoping the auroras are going to make it all the way down here to California so I can check them out, save on some travel expenses. Just watch them from here. Now our clouds are getting uh, kind of glowy at night. So, you know, maybe I won't even need the auroras. Maybe we'll just have... All those weird glowing clouds will come here instead. Anyway, so keep an eye out for these images of the aurora from space. Uh, I'm curious to see how that develops. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.